Hey, Dr. Jeremy here, back with some more mobility and stability programming. First thing we're going to start with today is going to be a hold at the bottom of our pull-up. Okay? What we want to do is once we get up there, we want to have our shoulders nice and relaxed. We're working on getting some nice traction through our shoulder here. Okay? So, what you guys will do, you can hop up or it can be a low bar and you can relax down. But essentially, you're going to hop up here. Okay? I'm not going to be in my, my nice position here. I'm going to let my shoulders relax down. All right, I want my ears and my shoulders to be as close as they can. All right, if you want to get fancy with it, you can bring your hand in a little bit, especially for those who have pretty good shoulder mobility. All right, just refer to the block for how long you're going to hold it and how long you're going to rest in between your sets. The next one we're going to do is going to be a little bit of a quad stretch and a little bit of a posterior chain stretch. So what you'll do, make sure you can stabilize yourself on the wall. You're going to Pull your butt as close as, or your foot as close as it can go to your butt. All right, like this classic quad stretch. Again, it doesn't have to touch, but get as close as you can. From here, we're going to keep our midline, midline nice and locked, knee nice and straight, and we're just going to bend at the hip and really focusing on driving our knee, our back knee, up towards the ceiling, and then I'll come back up. So again, one more time, the knee that's bent, I want to push that up towards the ceiling. I'm keeping my plant leg nice and straight, and I'm feeling that stretch across the front of this thigh and the back of this thigh. All right, now we're gonna move on to some shoulder stuff, shoulder and wrist. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some deficit push-ups. All right, for me, okay, I can, I can go a little bit higher. We're just using this for uh, demonstration purposes today. So I'm just gonna grab a plate, all right, stack another plate on top, another plate on top of that. I just want to stress, we want you doing this on plates with an open hand, all right? No parallax from this one, all right? So what we're going to do from here is we're going to get in that nice push-up plank position, and I'm going to come nice and slow and controlled all the way down to the bottom, all right? I'm active here, and then I'm going to come back up. Okay, one more time, nice and slow. Active at the bottom, feel a nice stretch across my shoulders, and back up. Again, you can stack these plates up as high as you can to where you feel that nice stretch, not any sort of tearing. Okay? From here, we're going to move to our lateral step up. So what a lateral step up should look like, I'm standing this way, the box is to my side. Right? I want to step up and stand all the way up on the box, and then come down nice and slow. Now, I want the object that I'm stepping up onto, right, to be as high as I can. Right. So a good way to set this is if you can hold your leg up as high as you can, see where your heel comes to, all right, and that's about where you should be stepping to, all right. You can see the box isn't really enough. I have too much clearance, so I'm going to use a weight here. I'm going to get nice and tall, hop over, and step up, all right all the way back down, all right? Eventually we want to see you guys stacking that up higher and higher. The last thing we're going to do today is just going to be a nice little overhead carry. So we're going to bring our kettlebell or dumbbell back, all right? We're going to put it up over our head, all right? Shoulder nice and active. And again, I'm just going to walk. Okay? Keep it up overhead. Turn around. Okay. Again, refer to the block for how long we want you to walk and how long we want you to rest. That's it.